Today we are going to undercover some really f***ed up shit. <laughs> About Sasuke and Sakura's relationship, Sasuke's point of view through age 12 to 13. And how exactly he felt, what his thoughts were, and yeah. I'm Megan Case, this is The Megan Case Show. Yes, it's the next day. <laughs> but the last, like I just said, well, I didn't probably say it right in the intro, now that I'm not realizing it. But today we are gonna explore Sasuzaku because I know that I'm gonna need to come here soon, especially because of Sasuke. I'm looking at you as a I'm looking at you. Don't look at me. I'm looking at you. Mr. I'm the King King Taka. Many people, and I mean many people, are gonna start to ask. I'm just not realizing this that this whole concept of this video changed. It is, um, you know, Sasuke and Sakura's thoughts and feelings in terms of the relationship. You know, I know he died. I know. I mean, ship it in. Why am I getting off track? Quit beating the bush. Beating around the bush. Right? That's the phrase, right? Quit is the magic. Never mind. So, we're going to be exploring his thoughts, why he tried to kill her. He and let's just get into it. Why keep going on and 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 on we're going to look up answers. Let me do that. I'm quite reading, weirding, weirding people up. Okay, first thing we're going to look up. I need to quit looking at my arm. Is what were Sasuke's thoughts on Sakura? I know this is a whole point of the episode, but from ages 12 to let's go. Let's go, people. <laughs> All right, here's are my thoughts. Okay, so many people think, some people think, after seeing, you know, Sasuke, you know, attempt to kill her. That he intended to kill her. Yes and no. Like I said in the last podcast episode of the trailer. The trailer. Sasuke's mind was clouded by vengeance. And he had PTSD and all the other stories. Sasuke, Sasuke's mind was clouded by vengeance and his PTSD problems. He thought she was getting in the way. So he made his PTSD self try to kill her. Next up. Why in the world did the dude put um her and Genjutsu? Now, some people notice, some people don't. Not that very many people know. Let me just stop looking at my arm. Anyway, why did the dude put her in the Genjutsu? I'm learning my parts of this. We are about to get hopefully truthful and we'll hopefully get to the point. Hopefully, make some points. Because I'm not doing anything at least. Alright. Alright. Sasuke was actually the only Sakura was the only person who can snap him out of fear. <coughs> <coughs> Several clearing of the throats later. During the beginnings of the series, Sasuke was all talk and no bite. He often froze up in fear when facing enemies with truly great power that he knew exceeded his own. One of the times this happened was during their fight in the force of death against Orochi Maru. This, people. This! <laughs> Many fans seem to think that Naruto is the one who snapped Sasuke out of his frozen state by quoting his own words, calling Sasuke a bakak! A chicken. <laughs> Sasuke is not a fuck dude. For as long as I've known the man and his PTSD and everything about him, he ain't no fuck Okay, you're the fuck Okay. But it was actually Sakura who got him into action. She yelled at him, saying, Naruto wasn't a coward, implying that Sasuke was. These words got Sasuke right into the action and made him activate 
Sasuke, sorry. Number nine. Sasuke blushes more often. I'm mad at him. They're talking about the manga. <laughs> this is where I get mad at Masashi said Sasuke is two different people. There's manga Sasuke, and there's anime Sasuke. Anime Sasuke did not blush whatsoever. Manga Sasuke was Sakura fever. Oh my god, oh my god. There's a, there's a, there's a guy I like. Oh my god, oh my god. There's a guy I like. You can't do that. The catch. After years of backstabbing heartbreak. I'm looking at you. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Make them poop. Sasuke and Sakura finally reunite to fight together in the fourth great shinobi war. And then fight against Kaiguya. 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 I don't know. Sasuke gets sent to another dimension, and Sakura uses the breast of her chakra to open a, por a portal. Sakura thinks she failed and begins to pull back from all the energy she had used in the acid wound she had just taken on when Sasuke appears behind her and catches her. I had I don't know what to say. The manga makes this scene a lot more intense than in the anime, though they share the same shots. He looks genuinely, genuinely concerned. Dude! Masashi Sensei. Making it seem like he has DID. <laughs> Multiple personality disorder, which he doesn't, but. He... <laughs> the physical contact, people! Physical contact! Sasuke is a person well known for hitting physical contact. Sakura is an exception, people. He loves to do physical contact, and he's not the guy who likes physical contact. That says something. You can't hide it. You know. <laughs> His expression in part two. <laughs> when Sakura broke the earth. Oh my god. Many people that think that Sasuke is a psychopath. Like I explained in the last episode, people. He ain't no psychopath. He has PTSD. Dude. He tried to kill her. She was getting in the way of his go. You know, what I noticed is that in part two, every time I see Sasuke, before Orochimaru got killed, and what I and Orochimaru got killed, and heal before him talk of, is that every time I saw him, I had goosebumps all over my body. And my all, all the hair on my body was standing up. But when Taka was born, that didn't happen. I'm like, man, I'm never dying. Which brings to the quish. Does Sasuke like Sakura? Yes. Yes, he does. Sasuke loves Sakura. Though in the anime, there are very less scenes. If you read the manga and the novels, we can we can see many Sasusaku moments. Sasusaku did not happen in one movie. Their love takes a lot of time to grow. If you want to understand how Sasusaku work, you need to be patient in a and observant enough. When Sakura says about her hobby, you can see Sasuke is having a blush, which is not shown in the anime. He looks like a mindless robot in the anime. <laughs> it's true. He does this. I'm just staring straight forward. And I'm like, are you dead? Move. Are you alive? Hello? Nikum poop. You will have assistant. Hello. Or the Sasuke. <laughs> All right. Other people say yes. Sasuke genuinely loves Sakura. Their dynamic might not be the typical relationship we see in between uh, the other couples in couples couples in Naruto and Boruto. But the idea that Sasuke only married Sakura because he felt guilty or just wanted to continue his clan's bloodline is ridiculous. Sasuke truly loves her. You just have to watch their dynamic closely and know what to look for. Okay, people. I'm ridiculous. I know. Actually, I think they have the deepest relationship out of the couples in Borto and seem very true to each other's feelings. Sasuke and Sakura's romance happens almost entirely off screen, 
because their love story was not exactly a central thing to the story. Also keep in mind that many scenes that really deal with the relationship between Sakura and Sasuke, because Sasuke is isn't redeemed until the end of Shippuden. Sakura knows that Sasuke has to be out on missions because he's the only one with the Rinnegan. Besides, Sasuke has chosen to protect the leaf from a distance and still feels that he must continue to atone for his sins. Sakura understands her husband's feelings and the importance of his job and his role in protecting the leaf, so she understands why he can't stay with her in the leaf a lot of the time. It's not like Sakura doesn't know what Sasuke is like. She is aware that she had spent a full two or three years wandering outside of Konoha before she is fully aware that he had spent a full two or three years wandering outside of Konoha before they got married. She knew he was a former criminal and she knew what his personality was like, but she still loved him and chose to marry him anyway. Why? Because she's the only person who's known this dude since they were like four years old. She knows the dude backwards, forwards, and side to side. Also, he needs her. You're probably asking me, how does he need her? What do you help? What the hell do you mean? Well, considering his PTSD can't control himself and his mental problems, that's about it. He needs someone who's going to genuinely love her. But him. He's not trans. Anyway, Sasuke and Sakura are very shy and reserved with each other when they are in public. Wow. They get along well when it's just the two of them and talk to each other a lot in private. They stay very professional and even distant when others are present. He doesn't like a public display of attention. It's embarrassing. He doesn't like it. And he will sometimes hurt her if they're in the public. <laughs> and if they're in the public eye. So you could say he's a... <coughs> okay, let me not do that. That's creepy. Oh. While they get along well, this seems like a dynamic similar to Sasuke's parents, Sasuke and Kayomi's parents, since we didn't see those two interact much e either. So Sasuke probably picked this kind of dynamic up from his parents, at least in part. Sakura did know Sasuke from the year they spent together on the same team. So she knows he's generally hard to read and reserved with his feelings because of PTSD. Durr. Duh. 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 It's not really surprising we never see them kiss because aside from Naruto and Hinata, we haven't seen any other couples kiss either. As for why Sa Sakura hesitates about telling Sarada whether she kissed Sasuke or not. Like I've said before, as a couple, they are shy with expressing their feelings from each other to anyone but each other. And for Sakura, the forehead tap, the Uchiha poke. I genuinely, genuinely mean more to her personally than a kiss. Anyway. Because it's a symbol of deep love that has a lot of meaning behind it for Sasuke. And the Uchiha's in particular. They use this poke for different things, alright? Right? For Sasuke, when it comes to Sakura and Sarada, maybe not. Affection. When it came to Itachi and Sasuke, there was only one time, okay, that Itachi does this to hurt his brother. One time! I'm getting off topic. <laughs> and Sakura understands its importance and her husband's feelings about it because it holds a lot of importance for Sasuke. It is a gesture that holds a lot of importance for Sakura too. There are things Sasuke does in Naruto and Shippuden that show that Sakura is someone special to him. And like half of Naruto trying to cut off the bonds he shares with others. So it's not obvious. But he generally acknowledges Sakura first whenever they meet, before anyone else. Like say he's been like gone for six months and he's coming back from a mission or whatever. Who is the first person this dude meets? Sakura. <laughs> no one else. Put everything else on hold and goes to Sakura. 
and pokes her on the forehead. And says, well, hello. <laughs> or something like that. I haven't seen Dorito yet. I'm on 121 of Naruto Shippuden. <coughs> There's something wrong with me. Even when Naruto or other youth present. There is also that moment when Sakura uses all her power she can muster to keep Obito's portal open longer so that Sasuke will have time to get through. And Sakura starts to fall, but Sasuke catches her and they both stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Wow. <laughs> in Boruto, there are several things Sasuke does that shows he cares. For the first appearance in episode 15, when Naruto meets Sasuke at that big tree. Oh, lovely. Now we're describing how big a tree is. <laughs> that big tree. <laughs> they discuss business. What kind of business are y'all discussing? Y'all are 12. And now my hairs are standing up. Great! Focus! I'm not standing up, but they were. But then Sasuke asked Naruto to deliver a message to Sakura. Tell her I'm sorry for everything. You should be. You should be. Dick whip. Nick on poop. Nuisance. Whatever you want to call it. PTSD freak. Whatever. I think there is a deeper meaning hidden in these words that Sakura will understand because it's exactly the same thing Sasuke tells her in the Valley of the End to apologize for his crimes, his criminal, his criminal history, the things that he's going to go to prison for. For trying to destroy the village. For trying to push her away. For trying to kill her. I can name more that he's done in the span of three years. Go to Orochimaru. Kill Orochimaru. Not care about them. Form another team. Leave the village. Put her in a genjutsu. I mean, come on. They also, there are also several instances that Sasuke truly cares about his wife in the Shin art. First, when they meet, though they don't say anything at first, you can tell there seems to be a lot going on between them just by the looks they are giving each other. They, they share such a deep bond that they don't have to say anything to understand each other. They can just look at each other and know what they're thinking and know, the, and know what they and know what they mean, know what the other person's thinking. That's what they mean. Later, Sasuke stands up for his wife by stating that she isn't wake. That's a farce, that she's not wake and useless. Unlike in part one. Mm-hmm. He also states that Sakura and he are connected through their feeling. And Sarada is a symbol of their love. Literally, they wouldn't have a child if they hadn't, you know, done the thing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. As for why Sasuke didn't kiss Sa Sakura goodbye when he is saying farewell to his wife and daughter, as I mentioned before, Sasuke is very shy romantically as well as, and was well aware, Sarada was watching him. Like I said before, he don't like public display of attention. It's embarrassing, and I agree with him. It's embarrassing. Would you like someone watching you kiss your your lover? I didn't think so. Personally, I actually like the way that Sakura and Sasuke are so shy with each other around other people because it feels like a romance that actually works for Sasuke's character. And... It seems chivalrous. And I find their shyness kind of cute, to be honest. If you know what I mean. <laughs> During the training exams in ARC, Sakura mentions that she sees Sasuke often when he comes home late. And that they talk to each other then. I haven't read the Boruto novels, but I've heard that in one of the novels, Sasuke tells Sarada that when she's asleep, he and Sakura talk about things a lot. Plus, we also see Sasuke and Sakura hanging out together at the end of Orta, the movie. An indication that he is in the village, Sasuke does find time to spend with his wife. He has to. It's his wife. He married her for a reason. Like I said before. Then in episode 95, we got the first scene with Sasuke and, Sa and Sakura alone since Sasuke left Konoha for the first time in part one. From this scene, we learn that Sasuke has told Sakura about his past, which is something I'm not entirely sure if he has personally told even Naruto, his best friend in the world, about. 
which indicates that Sakura is someone very special to him. He told her about the emotional struggles he, has, he faced as a child when trying to earn his father and brother's attention. Sasuke pretty much never tells anyone about how he feels. Honestly, that one conversation alone shows how important Sakura is to Sasuke. Plus, Sakura gives advice to Sasuke about how to bond with Sarada. Because let's be honest. <laughs> and this is funny too. I got not seen Boruto yet, but I do know something. I seem to see quite a lot. Nuts. Huh? You're my cute peanuts. Butashi. マメじゃないんだけど。パパさ、今日一回も私の名前呼んでないよね。もしかして娘の名前も忘れちゃったとか？何を言ってる？サラダだろ。